Shalom to the 12 scattered abroad. We're about to get into this lesson. First and foremost, giving all praises to the Most High in the name of his only begotten Son for another day, another chance at mer mercy and another chance to keep these laws, statutes, and commandments to the best of our abilities. So let's get this thing started. Today's le 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 lesson is titled, Don't Get Played. So just to start us off, we're going to go to the book of Matthew chapter 10, and we're going to read verses 11 through 18, straight through first. Bring it out, Bob. Huh. It's the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 11. And into, and into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. And when ye come into an house, salute it. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Verily, I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of, so of Sodom and, and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Behold, I sent forth, I sent forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and as harmless as doves. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils and will, and will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. Come. So this is a lot to break, break, break down here. So going back to our title, Don't Get Played. Today's le 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 lesson will mainly focus on knowing when, where, and how to bring out the word and who to bring it out to. So if you don't mind, brother, can you read verse 11 one more time for me? Book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 11. And into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who in it is worthy, and there abide till ye go this. So you first have to know who is worthy to receive this information. Let us go to the book of Isaiah. And just for proof sakes, the book of Isaiah chapter 55. And we're going to start at verse 6, verses 6 and verse 7. Uh, the book of Isaiah chapter 55 and verse 6. Seek ye the Lord while, ye, while, ye, while he may be found. Call ye upon him while he is near. Read. Let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto the Lord and he will have mercy upon him and to our God for he will abundantly pardon. So we first have to know that the people that are wor wor worthy are going to first be in a, in a mel mental state to seek the Lord, honestly. Let's get the book of Rom Rom Romans chapter 10, start at verse 13. Uh, the book of Romans chapter 10 and verse 13, and it reads, for whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Come on, read on, brother. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard. And how shall they hear without a preacher? So let's break this down. How can one call on the Lord without first understanding and believing that there is a God? Let's get the book of Psalms chapter 14 and verse, verse one. The book of Psalms chapter 14 and verse one. The fool has said in his heart, there is no God. They are corrupt. They have done abominable works. 
There is none that doeth good. So if you are trying to teach, if you are dealing with with um uh, someone trying to tell them um about this this uh, word what word here, if they cannot see that there is an absolute fact, there is an absolute fact that a supreme power is in existence, even after showing them through the through the pre precepts, through things we see every day, through nat 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 nature, through how the human body works, if they can't see that a supreme power lives, then you've already lost. So you first have to know, am I dealing with someone that believes in God? So going back into Romans, we already, already broke, broke down the belief part. Now, let's go in, in into the how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? Let's get the book of Proverbs chapter one and verse 20. Uh, the book of Proverbs chapter one and verse 20. Wisdom cries without. She uttereth her voice in the streets. So this word is going out, is being pushed. We got access to the internet we got access to bibles wisdom is all the way out there it's crying out read on verse 21 she crieth in the chief place of concourse in the openings of the gates in the city she uttered her words saying read on how long ye simple ones will ye love simplicity and the scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge so so we have had access to the not, not knowledge of doing right, but we do not listen as a people. So we have to listen. That's why things have to be heard. And fools hate what? Knowledge. So if you are trying to teach, you, you also have to make sure that you are not dealing with with the food and you cannot be be mad or pissed or or feel any type of way if a fool doesn't get this because wisdom is not comely to a fool point blank period and back in Something, 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 someone had something. Negative. Okay, Con. So we have broken down the believing, the hearing, and now let's get into the preaching of the word. Let's go to the book of Acts, chapter 8, start at verse 27. The book of Acts, chapter 8, and verse 27. And he arose and went, and behold, a man of Ethiopia, a eunuch of great authority under Candace, queen of the Ethiopians, who had the charge of all her treasure, and had come to Jerusalem for to worship. So, without prop, 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 proper understanding, you would think that this is an Ethiopian man. But it is phrased as a man of Ethiopia. And we all, I also know that if you read and you study, you will understand that there were many eunuchs made of the children of Israel. So we first have to understand who is the subject matter of this text here. So let's get the book of Acts chapter two and verse five. The book of Acts chapter two and verse five. And there dwelling in Jerusalem, Jews, devout men 
out of every nation under heaven. So we were scattered to every nation under heaven through our various cap captivities and the quote unquote diaspora. So Israel would would be here in Ethiopia. Uh, let's get the book of James, chapter one, verse one. Book of James, chapter one, in verse one. James, a servant of the Most High and of the Lord Yahweh Shah of Masiach, to the twelve tribes which are scattered abroad. Greeting. The twelve tribes scattered abroad. So this you 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 unit is coming to where Jerusalem to worship. So we can easily see that this is an Israelite. Uh, verse 28, brother. Good. Verse 28. Was returning and sitting in his chariot, read Isaiah the prophet. Read. Then the spirit said unto Philip, go near and join thyself to this chariot. Uh-huh. And Philip ran thither to him and heard him read the prophet Isaiah and said, Understanding thou what thou readest? So, so on, Philip, Philip, Philip pretty, pretty, pretty much said to, to this tra tra traveling Israelite, brother, do you know what you read? So let's see what this man, man says to Philip. Read on. Verse 31. And he said, how can I, except some man should guide me? And he desired Philip that he would come up and sit with him. So these are Israelites that are scattered. They have been away from their homeland. So obviously they are not centered around other Israelites that know that they are Israelites that know how to break down this, this, this word. So like pre pretty much our friends and neighbors Na neighbors and everyone what what one else who we live 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 with here they don't know what they're reading so we have to break it down because we have been chosen to have a certain level of knowledge wisdom and understanding to go into this this word and to break break these things thing, things down let's go to the book of Matthew chapter 18, uh, let's get verse one. Comes the book of Matthew, chapter 18 and verse one. At the same time came the disciples unto Yahweh Shah, saying, who is the greatest in the kingdom of heaven? Read on. And Yahweh Shah called a little child unto him and set him in the midst of them. So this is where we see the, 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 understanding give, give give him read on and said verily i say unto you except ye be converted and become as little children ye shall not enter into the kingdom of heaven mm -hmm. read on whosoever therefore shall humble himself as this little child the same is great in the kingdom of heaven so if a person doesn't have humility they will not receive the kingdom. Let, let uh, 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 alone, they won't receive anything that you are saying. So don't play you. Don't play your yourself trying try, trying to keep keep on keeping on with the same old thing that with someone who isn't going to get it. So let's go back to the book of Matthew chapter 10 and get verse 12. The book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 12. And when ye come into a and house, salute it. So this is very, very um, um, important because Israel seems to have a problem being friendly. Israel seems to have a problem dealing right with their brethren. Let's get the book of Matthew chapter five 
And we're going to start at verse 43. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, in verse 43. Ye have heard that it hath been said, Thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thine enemy. So, there are often times where we can count our own, own pe people enemies based off the fact that we only want to deal with Israel that knows that they are Israel. But we cannot do, do, do that but because even, e even Israelites that, that know that they are is Israelites are still prone to go off. Let's get the book of Romans chapter 2 and verse 11. The book of Romans chapter 2 and verse 11. For there is no respect of persons with the most high. Hey Amen. You cannot give any thought if, 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 if someone, someone goes by priest this, soldier that, captain this, X, Y, Z, so on, so, so forth. There is no respect of persons with the most high. People who don't know that they are, they, that they are Israelites can end up going off. People that do know they are Israelites can end up going off. Don't play yourself. Be wise then. Let's go back to uh, Matthew chapter 5, get verse 44. Book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 44. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, and do to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. So you have to do right by your brothers. You have to love them. You have to love the people of your own kind. But let's Prove that with the law. Leviticus chapter 19, start at verse 17. It's the book of Leviticus chapter 19 and verse 17. Thou shalt not hate thy brother in thine heart. Thou shalt in any wise rebuke thy neighbor and not suffer sin upon him. So you cannot hate your brother. You have to re rebuke them and let them know when they are going off so that they don't sin. Read on. Verse 18. Thou shalt not avenge nor bear any grudge against the children of thy people, but thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. I am Hate the him. Lord. Thou shalt, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. And this is a pure commandment from the most high God. You cannot hate your own brother, point blank period. But you also cannot give too much re re respect to, 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 to a meter because they can end up going off. So you should always judge them by the word. Cool? Cool. Let's go back to Matthew 5, and let's get verse 45. The book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 45. That ye may be the children of your Father, which is in heaven. For he hath his Son to rise on the evil and on the good, and send him rain on the just and on the unjust. So the same day that the good get, is the same day that the bad get. The sun doesn't so so solely shine on us because we didn't did, did didn't eat eat pork. The sun is going to shine either way because this right here, the book of Isaiah chapter forty five and verse seven, book of Isaiah. Chapter 45 and verse 7. I form the light and create darkness. I make peace and create evil. I, the Lord, do all these things. Hey, he does everything. He makes the light. He makes the darkness. He makes peace. He makes evil. He makes the good. He makes the bad. He makes the repentant 
and the unrepented. Don't play yourself. You have to use discernment at all times. Let's go back to Matthew chapter 5. Uh, get verse 46. Book of Matthew chapter 5 and verse 46. For if ye love them which love you, what reward have ye? Do not even the public is the same. So just because I know that I'm an Israelite doesn't mean that I only talk to people that know that they are Israelites. You have to love the people of your own, own, own kind that don't know that they are Israel because that makes you more acceptable, that makes you more relatable that makes you as someone that this non-believer -be sees as a quote-unquote nor nor normal per 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 person. Read on, verse 47. Verse 47. If ye salute your brethren only, what do ye more than others? Do not even the public insult? So what makes you better? Sinners hang with sinners. So what makes you better than a sinner? If you're not showing love to your brother. Let's get the book of 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 9 and verse start at 19. The book of 1 Corinthians chapter 9 and verse 19. For though I be free from all men, Yet have I made myself servant unto all that I might gain the more. So Paul makes make, 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 makes him, himself everything to everybody. We don't. Verse 20. And unto the Jews, I became as, the, as a Jew that I might gain the Jews to them that are under the law as under the law that I might gain them that are under the law. So 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 when 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 it comes time time to to be a quote unquote soup 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 for brew, Paul Paul is on it. Shalom, brother, shalom, speaking to pay 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 little he he Hebrew got 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 the long longest friend friends you ever seen out there. He is becoming everything to everybody. Read on. Verse 21. Uh, verse 21. To them that are without the law as without law, being not without the law to the most high, but under the law to Hamashiach, that I might gain them that are without law. So Paul still gains those that aren't following what they should be following. But Paul made it very, very clear, being not without law to God. Meaning that Paul is still keeping the law, even though he is being everything to everyone. Read on. Verse 22. To the weak become I as weak, that I might gain the weak. I am made all things to all men, that I might be all means save some. Hey, and that is the right, right, righteous bro 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 brother there. He is only trying trying to win win souls. That's it. All right, let's finish out Matthew 5, verse 48. Book of Matthew, chapter 5, and verse 48. Be ye therefore perfect, even as your father which is in heaven is perfect. So back to what Paul 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 said, he isn't breaking the law. Through him trying, try, trying to win, win, win on our souls, he is still being perfect as his Father in heaven is perfect. Paul wasn't break, break, breaking laws. Paul wasn't telling people to break laws. Don't play yourself thinking that you have to do that to win, win, win souls. Get the book of Proverbs chapter 11, verse 1. The book of Proverbs chapter 11 and verse 1. A false balance is abomination to the Lord, 
but a just weight in his delight. You have to be balanced. You can't be super brew and you can't be super, super Jake either. You have to find a healthy balance where you can know how to deal with every type of person that you meet. Con, let's go back to our to our main 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 pat, pat, passage we, we we are focusing on. Uh, start from the top one, one more time. Uh, Matthew ten, start at verse eleven. Book of Matthew chapter ten and verse eleven. And, if, and into whatsoever city or town ye shall enter, inquire who it is, is worthy, and there abide till ye go thence. So first find out who is worthy. Read. And when ye come into a house, salute it. Salute your brothers. Be a brother. Love them. Read on. Verse 13. And if the house be worthy, let your peace come upon it. But if it be not worthy, let your peace return to you. Hey, everybody isn't worth your time. Point blank period. Let's get the book of Sirach, chapter 27, and verse 12. The book of Sirach, chapter 27, and verse 12. If thou be among the indiscreet, observe the time, but be continually among men of understanding. You have to observe the time. You cannot be around with, with, with wickedness too much. Make sure that your time is split well because a false balance is an abomination to the most high God. You have to be aware of your 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 surroundings point blank period uh let's get the book of first corinthians chapter six start at verse two the book of first corinthians chapter six and verse two do ye not know that the saints shall judge the world and if the world shall be judged by you are ye unworthy to judge the smallest matters so you must have the discernment to know that you aren't wasting time you have to be able to judge everything you cannot play yourself read on uh, verse three know ye not that we shall judge angels how much more things that pertain to this life how much more things that pertain to this life that's a key factor how are you going to be able to judge angels if you can't judge how you spend time on this current world how can you be a judge over nations if you can't determine how to spend your time in this current world let's get the book of first kings chapter three start at verse seven the book of first kings chapter three and verse seven and now, O oh Lord, my God, thou have made thy servant king instead of David, my father. And I am but a little child. I know not how to go out or come in. So this is King 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 Solomon Sol 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 being being straight straight up honest. Lord, I don't know what I am doing. Help me. I am just a child. I don't know where I'm going. I don't know when I'm coming. I need help. Read on. Verse 8. And thy servant is in the midst of thy people, which thou have chosen, a great people that cannot be numbered nor counted for multitude. So I always know that you are part of the greatest people that have ever lived. And think for you to be over this great people. You need some help because Israel is powerful. So if you are chosen to be a leader, to be a teacher, to be a king, to be a prince, you have to be more powerful. You have to be able to know 
what you are doing when you are doing it. Read on. Verse 9. Give therefore thy servant an understanding heart to judge thy people, that I may discern between good and bad. For who is able to judge this thy so great a people? Hey, Paul is pretty much praying, Lord, please don't let me play myself. Let me know how to judge. Let me know what is good. Let me know what is bad. Let me know how to deal with my people. That is an honest, righteous prayer. Read on. Verse 10. And the speech pleased the Most High that Solomon had asked this thing. Hey, that is the only thing that the mo Most High has asked for. Humility. For you to come as a little child. Because if you don't, you will not make it to the kingdom. Read on. And the Most High said unto him, because thou hast asked this thing, and hast not asked thy for thyself long life, neither hast asked riches for thyself, nor hast asked the life of thine enemies, but hast asked for thyself understanding to discern judgment. Read. Behold, I have done according to thy words. Lo, I have given thee wise and understanding heart, so that there was none like thee before thee, neither after thee, so any arise like unto thee. And Solomon was re rewarded for his humility. Solomon was rewarded for not asking for earthly things. Solomon was rewarded for using wisdom. And Solomon was rewarded for not playing himself. All right, let's go back to Matthew chapter 10, and let's get verse 14. Come. I can grab a little precept. Of course. Come. On. Let me uh, get the book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 5. The book of Matthew, chapter 5 and verse 5. Blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. So Christ said, blessed are the meek, for they shall inherit the earth. So the brother was going into humility. You know, and one thing that I understand about this knowledge and this truth, you have to be humble in order to receive it. You know, you have to understand that you don't know it all. You know, and, 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 and that's the first level of, of changing your life and heading in the direction of the Most High. And he said they're going to inherit the earth because your humility is going to push you to serve the most high, keep the law, statutes, and commandments in the faith, and your high will shout the righteous. Are you? Mm, beautiful point, bro. Beautiful. You have to be me. That is a requirement that you can, cannot pass by. Beautiful point, brother. Thank you for, for that. Let's go back to Matthew 10 and let's get verse. 14. Uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 14. And whosoever shall not receive you, nor hear your words, when ye depart out of that house or city, shake off the dust of your feet. Hey, pretty much here. If someone doesn't want to li li listen to, to the word, someone doesn't want to change, hey, shake the dust from, from your feet. Move on because you can't do anything for them. It's sad, but it's but it's true. Let's get the book of Job, chapter 17, and verse 9. It's the book of Job, chapter 17, and verse 9. The righteous also should hold on his way, and he that have clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. Hey man, the right. Righteous man keeps on moving. He not he not stopping. He not worried. Hey, hey, they they ain't they, they ain't feel 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 the this word. Hey, shoot, I'm gonna keep on moving on, and I'm gonna get stronger because I'm growing discernment because I'm knowing how people are going to act. You 
you will literally start to be able to 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 on discern spirits. That is a beautiful gift that we should all ask for. Lord, teach me how to discern spirits. Let's get the book of Philippians chapter three, start at verse 13. The book of Philippians chapter three and verse 13. Brethren, I count not myself to have apprehended, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before. Hey, Paul, Paul, Paul said, hey, all that old, old on stuff, hey, Oh, well, I'm moving towards the kingdom. I'm not worried about going, going back and, and, and on trying try, try to save, save this per, 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 per person who is obviously not trying to hear. Do I, do, 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 do I pray, pray for them? Yes. Do I hope that, that, that they come? to this understanding yes but i have to do one one thing let's get verse 4 14 uh, verse 14 i press toward the mark for the prize of the high calling of the most high in hamashiach yahushua hey amen keep it moving keep on pushing keep going keep praying steady hard free yourself Point blank period. Let's get the book of Titus, chapter three and verse ten. The book of Titus, chapter three and verse ten. A man that is an heretic after the first and second abomination, reject, knowing that he that is such is subverted, and sinning, being condemned of himself. Hey, Amen. And if some, some someone is in trying 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 to hear it after af, af you trying and trying, hey, oh well. And that that word word her, heretic on uh, feel, feel, feel on free free to look look it up in the Strongs. It is G141, and it means a follower of false doctrine. A follower of false doctrine. It's a lot. Right. Con. I think I pronounced that in verse 10. Admonition. The second admonition, which means warning. Mm -hmm. That's After right. the second warning, reject. That's right. Hey man, shoot. Hey, some some someone it it, it isn't trying 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 to hear it. Hey, keep on moving, brother. Keep <laughs> on moving. Let's go back to our main, main, main focus point. Let's get the book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 15. The book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 15. Verily I say unto you, it shall be more tolerable for the land of Sodom and Gomorrah in the day of judgment than for that city. Mm -mm -mm. So for the people that then said, ah, we're not trying to get that Bible stuff. We're not trying to hear about keeping no commandments. We're not trying to hear none of that stuff. They're going to be worse than Sodom and Gomorrah, and we already know what had happened there. That, that place got utterly destroyed. They're gone. Bye-bye. If you go to that land, land now, it is a certain ash, a certain so 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 for content kind, kind, kind there that isn't found anywhere else on the face of, of of the earth that is real deal fire from the heavens came down on this on, on this place but let's see what was going going, going on there let's get the book of genesis uh we're in chapter 18 Start at verse 20. The book of Genesis, chapter 18 and verse 20. And it reads, And the Lord said, Because the cry of Sodom and Gomorrah is great, and because their sin is very grievous, uh -huh. I will go down now and see whether they have whether 
they have done altogether according to the cry of it, which is come unto me. And if not, I will know. So this is pretty much the 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 long mo, mo, most I saying look, we are are gonna go and check out Sodom and Gomorrah to pretty much see if everything that we have heard is going 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 on there. Uh, skip down to verse twenty three. Verse twenty three, and Abram drew near and said, "Wilt thou also destroy the righteous with the wicked?" So boom, we have the friend of the mo mo most high, the righteous, righteous brother, righteous elder, righteous forefather, Abraham saying, Lord, are you going to kill off the people that are doing right with them? Let's see what, 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 what had happened throughout on Abraham's li lobby for the quote unquote right, right, righteous in this city. We don't. Verse 24, peradventure there be 50 righteous within the city. Will thou also destroy and not spare this place for the 50 righteous that are therein? So boom, we have Abraham said, Lord, if there's 50 righteous people there, will you save it? Now. Now, mind you, these are cities. 50 folks are not hard to come by. You can find 50 folks on a, on, on a sing, sing, single street. So this is a relatively low, low on num, num, number here, right? Um, let's go down to verse 32. Verse 32, and he said, oh, let not the Lord be angry, and I will speak yet but this once, peradventure 10 shall be found there. And he said, I will not destroy it for 10's sake. So for the sake of time, Abraham start, start, started pretty, pretty much negotiating down from that 50 all the way to 10 because he had he he had start, started thinking man this, this is actually a pretty simple place uh 50 might be a little bit too too high lord what if we find 10 that are doing right and to the 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 most high is like all right bet fine but as we know Sodom got destroyed off the face of the earth. Bam, bam, gone. So that is further, further proof that we have to take this serious. Because if you can't even find 10 in a city and the world is, is getting worse and worse and, and worse, think about now. We can't play our, 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 our ourselves thinking that everybody finna get this because they're not. Hell, we may not even get it. And we're in the faith now, studying, reading, but the most high can blow, blow out our, our count, count, candlelight like that. So even we have to stay on it because we are not guaranteed anything and our right righteousness still is as filthy rags. Let's get the book of Jeremiah chapter three, start at verse 12. The book of Jeremiah chapter three and verse 12. Go and proclaim these words toward the north and say, return thou backsliding Israel, saith the Lord. And I will not cause my anger to fall upon you, for I am merciful, saith the Lord, and I will not keep anger forever. So throughout the whole Bible, we constantly see the most high saying, Israel, come back, Israel, get it right. Israel stops in. I will be mer merciful to you. 
I will forget everything you had you had did. Just come back and do right. But let's see what what is continually going going on. You know, verse thirteen. Only acknowledge thine iniquity that thou hast transgressed against the Lord thy God, and hast scattered thy ways to the strangers under every green tree, and ye have not obeyed my voice, saith the Lord. So just turn away from your sins. Stop following these other nations. Stop listening to every voice but the voice of the Lord. It's, it is a simple thing to serve the Most High, but we make it complicated because we try to fit in our, our own ways and our own thoughts. But the thing is, we don't have to do that because the law is written for us. The book is written for us. We have examples of faith. We have seen the mercies of the most mo, 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 high shown generation after generation after generation just for simply doing what he says do. We have to get right. Read on. Verse 14. Turn, O backsliding children, saith the Lord, for I am married unto you, and I will take you one of a city and two of a family, and I will bring you to Zion. But guess what? Everybody isn't getting saved. He is only taking one out of city, two out, out, out of family. It's the same, 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 same way how 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 our pre precepts are. A little bit here and a little bit there. You will not get everybody. You will not save everybody. So it's up to you to not play yourself thinking just because someone is walking around saying the paleo Hebrew, just because someone is saying Shalom, just because someone is being a quote unquote good per per person, they not stealing. They stop at every red, red, red light. They aren't taking extra cook cookies from, from the cook cookie jar. That doesn't equal righteousness. Your righteousness will not be proven unless you endure and you keep on trucking to the very, very end. Let's get the book of Isaiah, chapter three, start at verse eight. The book of Isaiah, chapter three and verse eight. For Jerusalem is ruined and Judah is fallen because their tongue and their doings are against the Lord to provoke the eyes of his glory. We aren't doing right. We are so anti-God now. All I see is the universe and casting spells and incantations and Egyptology. And I'm a monk, monk, Muslim now, and I'm a doggone Christian ap ap apologetic. What are these terms? You are messing up with the Most High by your tongue, by proclaiming that you are anything but an Israelite. You, you are messing up by doing anything that is counter to the law. You are messing up in the eyes of the Most High God by doing everything but what the book says. Read on. Verse 9. They show the show of their countenance does witness against them. And they declare sin as Sodom. They hide it not. Woe unto their soul. For they have reward evil unto themselves. So back to Sodom. We are clearly showing sin. We ain't hiding it. We, we are no better than these Sodomites. Because we know better. We may not be doing what they were doing, but we are still doing wrong. And woe unto their soul. That means death. Because we have taken our, our gift and our treasure, which is the kingdom, and we have replaced that with sin, lewdness, wickedness, abominations, and we're happy with it. There are many people of our na na nation that are satisfied being here. They love it here. 
They love debit cards. They love big, big, big corn. They love going to foot, foot, football games, and they love adding, add, add, adding extra cheese and extra ba- ba- bacon to their five five dollar foot foot long. We are so behind. We have to get better, people. We have to stop playing yourself thinking that you got it. Stop playing yourself thinking that other people have. We have to continually work on ourselves to kill this 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 on um, flesh every single day. Let's go back to Matthew 10. Let's get verse 16. The book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 16. Behold, I send you forth as sheep in the midst of wolves. Be ye therefore wise as serpents and harmless as doves. So once again, have some balance. Once again, be wise. Once again, be gentle. And once again, just do right, man. Let's get the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, start at verse 24. The book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2 and verse 24. And the servant of the Lord must not strive, but be gentle unto all men, apt to teach patient. Read. In meekness, instructing those that oppose themselves, if the most high peradventure will give them repentance to the knowledge of the truth. So you have to be gentle with our people. You have to be patient. You have to meet them where they are. Because a lot of our our, 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 our folks literally don't know anything. And I mean anything. We don't. And they, so like it, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. Because at the end of the day, we cannot save anybody. They have to save, save them themselves from, 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 from those traps. We have to save our, 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 ourselves from, 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 from the sins we, 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 we are doing. And the only way to actually do that is to lean on the heavenly father to know that his ways are perfect. And if we follow those ways, we have a, have a chance at salvation. All right, let's get the book of Ezekiel chapter three. Start at verse seven. The book of Ezekiel chapter three and verse seven. But the house of Israel will not hearken unto thee, for they will not hearken unto me. For all the house of Israel are imputed and hard-hearted. Because we are hard-headed. We will not hard, 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 hard walking into sound, sound with, with, with wisdom because we are so confident in a plain way. Read on. Verse 8. Behold, I have made thy face strong against their faces and thy forehead strong against their foreheads. Hey, don't 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 play your your yourself think 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 thinking that you can always be nice. Sometimes you gotta hey, sometimes you gotta buck up out. Read on. Verse 9. As an adamant harder than flint, have I made thy forehead. Fear them not, neither be dismayed at their looks. Though they be a rebellious house. But all praises to the most high God that he has prepared us for this battle. battle. Read on. Verse 10. Moreover, he said unto me, son of man, all my words that I shall speak unto, unto thee, receive in thine heart and hear with thine ears. Listen to the most high. Read. And go. Get thee to them of the captivity unto the children of thy people and speak unto them and tell them, thus saith the Lord God, whether they will hear or whether they will forbear. Hey, tell them whether they hear or whether they forbear. 
this is another way that the most high God is, is, is plainly telling them, hey, don't play yourself. Some of them going to hear, some of them won't, but you better tell them. All right. And also, don't be, 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 be on our soft with them, period. Um, let's get the book of Job, chapter 38, verse 3. It's the book of Job, chapter 38, and verse 3. Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou thee and thou me. Hey, don't be soft. Don't be weak. Be a man. But in that being a man, you have balance. Being a man knows how to deal with who you are dealing with. So, yes, there are times where you have to be a little more kind. But there's also times when you have to be a little more rough because you're not fit, fit, you're gonna walk 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 up to to, to no game game bank 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 being being yourself saying. Hey there, brother, you want to hear the Bible? They'll be like, man, go on for a lack of better words. All right, let's finish out Matthew 10. Uh, let's get verse 17 and verse 18 straight through. Uh, the book of Matthew, chapter 10 and verse 17. But beware of men, for they will deliver you up to the councils and they will scourge you in their synagogues. And ye shall be brought before governors and kings for my sake, for a testimony against them and the Gentiles. So be cautious of these people still, because they will sell you out for a turkey sandwich. They do not care. You have to be wise as a serpent, yet gentle as a dove. Let's get the book of Sirach, chapter 6, start at verse 7. The book of Sirach, chapter 6, and verse 7. If thou wouldest get a friend, prove him first, and be not hasty to credit him. Hey, man, just because someone puts on fringes, just because someone stops eating pork, just because someone's walking around speaking to paleo, Hebrew, Abinawa, Shabbat Shabbat, Kodash Hayah, so on and so forth. Don't be quick to credit them because they can still flip on, on you. But still treat that brother or, or that sister with the level of understanding and a level of re, re, respect that you deal wisely with. Read on. Verse eight, for some man, for some man is a friend for his own occasion and will not abide in the day of thy trouble. They won't abide in the day of thy trouble because they're causing the day of thy trouble. They are delivering you up to these synagogues and prisons and governors and councils. They're the ones doing it. So, be cautious and be careful. Point blank, period. Let's get the book of Matthew chapter 10. Let's get verse 19 and verse 20. The book of Matthew chapter 10 and verse 19. But when they deliver you up, take no thought how or what ye shall speak, for it, it shall be given you in that same hour what ye shall speak. For it is not ye that speak, but the spirit of your father which speaketh in you. So don't play your yourself trying to come up with the perfect speech and the perfect answer to, to say, yeah, this is going to make them set me free so I don't have to go through these punishments and blah, 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 this and that. No, don't think about that because the spirit, keyword, the spirit, Spirit is going to speak for you. And we all know that the spirit is what? The book of John, chapter 6, verse 63. The book of John, chapter 6, and verse 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth, 
the flesh profiteth nothing. The words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. All in all, speak the words of the Most High God and you won't be hit with the okie doke. And I close saying, Shalom.